Welcome back folks and today we're going to be making some tea cakes, a recipe from the 1970s. So let's get straight down to the recipe. You want 300 grams of strong white flour, 21 grams of fresh yeast, 38 grams of caster sugar, 45 grams of unsalted butter or white shortening, 138 milliliters of whole milk, or you can just use the waterized milk, 28 milliliters of egg, two grams of salt, two grams of bread improver, 141 grams of mixed fruit, and on option, you can actually use peel. Also, I'm going to be using seven grams of mixed spice, and that just gives it that nice flavor, but best to use the oil type paste. Right, we're now going to be mixing our dough. First, we add in all our dry ingredients. Yeast, milk, egg. Now we're gonna mix this in the machine for nine minutes. Halfway through, we're gonna check it just to see if it's okay. It might need some more water or it might need some more flour. And the last minute, we're gonna be adding our fruit in. If you've got a three speed machine, mix this round for one minute, then knock it onto second speed for eight minutes. And the last one minute is going to be mixing your fruit in. So we'll just check our dough. Yeah, that, that does look a bit tight, but it's not really. Let's give that a bit of a scrape then. You'll realise then it's not that bad. And just carry on mixing that then. The dough's got one more minute to go. So we'll add our fruit in. Now that has actually already got the mixed spice in it. And now we'll give that one minute. Just We're just turning it in. We don't want to crunch all the fruit together in the dough. We just want to keep it nice. <laughs> And that's it. So all we need to do is put this into a bowl. Now we're going to leave it there for around about five minutes just to start working. I have oiled with this with some prep spray. The link is in the description if you want to buy some. So we'll just cover this over. Right, these are our dough pieces. This is for our tea cakes. These are actually scaled off at eight ounces. So we'll just roll them out a bit. Now out of these, you want four out of each one, and that'll make two ounce tea cakes. There you go. Right, and then we'll just mold them round like this. Okay. Now you can do it like that or like this, whichever the case may be, which you find easier. But I'll just go like this. And all I'm doing is in the middle there and in there, because it's actually shaped, you're sort of going like this and you're going round and round. See? Now you'll need two trays. Now I've already previously greased this up. This has got prep spray on. If you're looking for that type of spray, oil is available on my eBay store. The link is in the description. And you don't want to mold these out too far, really. Now this time, it's almost like a bat. So you just get them like this and just roll them out. Like that. Okay, and put them straight onto your tray. And that's your tea cakes. So all we're going to be doing with these is just washing the tops over with egg wash. Make sure they are rolled down enough. Now some people do like to put a bit of a dock in the middle. So we'll dock the middle like this. Not a lot. And then we'll just wash it over with egg wash. It just makes it nice and glazy. And that's it. And that is how to do your tea cakes. Now we're going to get them into the prover. They're going to be proving up for around about 45 minutes. Now the best proving temperature for these is around about 30 Celsius. 
Well folks, it's now time to put your oven on. Your oven temperature wants to be at around about the 200 Celsius. Now I'm usually in the bakery, I'm baking off in a straightforward big oven, deck ovens at around about 400 Fahrenheit. So it gives you some idea of the difference, but obviously the 200 is fan assisted. So that fan helps to circulate the heat round a lot better. We'll just have a look at our bath buns just to see how we're doing. Oh yeah, they won't be far away. Our tea cakes are ready. Now, just before we bake them, one thing that's important, as soon as they come out of the oven, you'll need some, basically some syrup. Now this is a mixture of golden syrup and water, 50-50. Just enough to do the buns. And also you need some caster sugar. And that's to go straight on as soon as they come out the heat. Now we're gonna be baking them in the oven for around about 10 minutes. That's five minutes each side give or take. So let's get our tea cakes into the oven. Our tea cakes are ready. We'll get them out of the oven. So there we go. So all we need to do is now wash the tops over straight away from the oven and dose them with a bit of sugar. There you go. And then we just put a bit of sugar on the top. And that's what we call a traditional tea cake. It's that simple. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check out the description because that is where you're going to find your recipe and also lots of playlists. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters!